So let's take a closer look at Guitar Rat. Now this is an iOS application that allows you to have some more fun with Go Guitar Pro or Go Guitar. And it has pedal, amplifier, speaker cabinet, and post effects emulations that you can group in all sorts of ways, just like you were building your own virtual pedal board. First of all, what you see here is now the first layout, which shows the various things I just described, pedal, amp, speaker, and post effects rack. And we're right now on the guitar amp page. This is called Deluxe Clean, and you get an idea what kind of amp it's trying to emulate. You can adjust the bass and treble, you can adjust the gain, vibrato, intensity, and reverb, etc. Just like you would on the real amplifier. But what's also cool is you can change amplifiers. So if we pick something like this, uh, we've got a Marshall here. You can change channels from a little cleaner sound to a distorted sound. But anyway, you can see that there's quite a selection of amplifiers here, and you can have lots of fun with that. So now you've got your amplifier sound. You're going to want to play around with the different speaker cabinet combinations. Right now, there's a 112, I believe it is, but there are a range of everything from a 110-inch speaker to 212s to a range of 412 cabinets that you can use. But here's one that I've got. It has a 112-inch speaker, and each cabinet has its own separate little voicing. But you also notice that it has two microphones on it, and these provide their own interpretation of the voicing of that speaker cabinet. Why two microphones? Well, often in recording, uh, engineers will use a dynamic, typically a Shure SM57, and then a condenser mic. And the difference is each one has its focus on a sp frequency spectrum, and as you mix them, you can get some really cool tones and differentiate one guitar amp from another. So we've provided that in this app. And here's the two microphones. Currently there's, a, there's the 57 and the condenser there. And these three buttons here allow you to move them around on the speaker cabinet, on your virtual speaker cabinet. But also, you can vary the distance from the speaker cabinet. See how the mic gets bigger or smaller? Bigger or smaller. If you're going to vary the distance from the cabinet, I would suggest that typically you just move them at the same distance. Try to keep them at the same distance, or else you get phase anomalies, which sounds kind of notchy. And then here's, here's some special sauce. You can vary the angle of the microphone on the cabinet, and this too comes with sonic you know, interpretations of what that mic is hearing on the cabinet. And all of these things combine to give you your personal sound. Uh, let's go back to the pedal. Right now, there's only one pedal selected. And you, just like a real pedal, you, you press it on the switch there. And you can adjust it. You can add other pedals beyond it. You can add other things like uh, maybe a digital chorus. You can turn them off and on individually too. They each have, each one has it. And you can keep adding pedals till you're blue in the face and have some lots, lots of fun with that. So you can build up your own virtual pedal board with the pedals. So we've got our pedals on the front end of the amp. This is just like you would plug from your guitar into the pedal into the front of the amplifier, the input. Now there's also a set here of post effects. And these are the ones where if you had a sound person putting mics on your, a mic or mics on your cabinet, they would run those mics into a mixer and then they would go to a separate effect rack. And that's what you have here. Right now, we've got some interesting things going on. I'll turn off some of these. Now you can apply parametric EQ, graphic EQ, and of course there's quite a selection of those that you can apply post amplifier. And then, now that you've built your own rack, you can save it. Not just your own rack, but your entire pedal board, amplifier, speaker cabinet, and rack. You can save that entire configuration here. The application comes with a selection of templates for you, and they all sound really cool and you can choose through them. That's hours of fun going through those. But you can save your custom one as well. 
So there you go. So now you, that's your full signal path. Now there's some other things you can do. There's a, a metronome where you set the global tempo for things like uh, you could have your choruses going exactly on a tempo. You've got a tuner, it's a polyphonic tuner. Shows all six strings and you can tune like that. We just pick a string and adjust it or you can do it individually. That's quite, quite helpful. Let's talk about the recording and playback features of Guitar Rap. You can record your own backing tracks. So you can, if you've got a cool sound and you want to jam over top of it, or you've got a clean sound for perhaps and you want to jam over it with a distorted sound, you can just make a little recording, quack, 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 and then play over top of that, hours of fun. Or you could record to a metronome, play a cool sound, take that metronome defined track and place it in your DAW at the same beats per minute and record something in the DAW. You could bring in fully mixed tracks or you could bring in bed tracks and then play over those as well. So I've made a backing track in uh, GarageBand that has just drums and some stuff and because it's always more fun playing with something rather than just playing by yourself. So those are the record functions. Now this function here, MIDI Learn, this allows you to map parameters in the app to a Bluetooth or MIDI pedal board. And when you've got the MIDI pedal board, you've got foot switches and possibly a treadle that will allow you to do um, you know, effects changing, changing your virtual pedal board, turning effects on and off, wahing the wah-wahs because maybe, maybe you saw that there's quite a few, I'm going to get out of MIDI learn here, there's quite a few wah-wahs in there you could choose. And uh, you could do that with your pedal board. So that's the MIDI learn function here. Um, and just like a real pedal board, you can rearrange the connection order of the pedals by just grabbing and moving them around. So that's the easiest way to have fun with your new Go Guitar Pro or Go Guitar. It's the app called Guitar Rack. It's available on the App Store. It's for iOS only, and it's a heck of a lot of fun. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.